Uh, first off, congratulations on the movies, guys. Thank you. It Thank was you. great fun. I had an absolute ball with it. Uh, um, it was very, very funny. Um, I wanted to start by taking you guys back to right at the beginning when you first, your agent or your manager kind of gave you the script for Downton. What was your kind of initial reaction? And could you foresee where it was going to go after, after all these years? Well, I thought that um, on paper, it looked rather promising, maybe for at least one season. I mean, they did approach us saying, two, possibly three seasons. And I thought, well, we get one out of it. I'm sure we'd get another one because on paper it looked great. You know, you were signed up, you were signed up, Maggie was signed up. We used to have who knows, but anyway. And I thought, this is ticking so many boxes. And the scripts were the best things I'd read in, in forever. They just were terrific. The characters were all great. I loved Mrs Hughes. And I just thought, this is ticking every box going. And... And I thought it's 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 got potential to be quite successful. I thought it would be maybe something like I don't know, D Brideshead Revisited or mm. Upstairs Downstairs. You know the enthusiasm people had for that sort of thing. But of course, none of us could have predicted the the phenomenon mm -hmm. that it became. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I mean, it, it sounds a silly way. There's so many characters in your in your show. You're kind of like your own little cinematic universe in so many ways because you have so many different people doing so many different things. I mean, it must be great to be with great actors, but also when this company is so strong and everybody from top to bottom is just at the top of their game. I mean, it must be so rewarding. Well, I think we're very, we've been very, very fortunate. I think Jill Trevelli, um, we owe a huge debt to her. She cast the, the first season and really set the tone. And uh, I can remember when, when I first read the script and I you know, expressed interest in it, and then I said, "Who are you? To, you know, who are you going to try and get to play the the mother, Violet?" And they said, "Well, we're going to talk to Maggie Smith." And I said, "Good luck with that. That'll never happen." Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. And uh, so to be able to, you know, attract the caliber of, of cast that we have, and all our guest artists along the way, uh, we've been so so fortunate. You know, I mean, to think that we had Dame Kiri Takanawa and, and Shirley MacLaine, uh, to name the <laughs> two, and Paul Giamatti. I mean, all along the way, we've had amazing actors come and play with us. So uh, mm. we've been very very fortunate. Mm -hmm. And you're George Clooney for. A fun and day, I'm sure. For a fun day, yeah. He's still yeah. like that beating oh, heart. Thanks yes. to Hugh Bonneville. You, you got you <laughs> wrote him in. It was amazing. He literally... You uh, got on yeah. the gig. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, yes, he literally had... He said, I've got, I've got three hours from landing from Tokyo or somewhere to taking off to somewhere else. And bless him, he... He, he did it for love of you. Yeah. I know that for a fact because he <laughs> told me. My, because it was a charity thing and it added on to the film schedule, Maggie wasn't going to be in it. She said, George Clooney, of course I'm going to be there. <laughs> and then the old Where do I act, sign? He, he kissed her hand and she fainted and fell off the <laughs> sofa. She did her own stunts, didn't she? Yeah. And a number of executives who suddenly came to Highclere for the day. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Suddenly great. needed to be there. Yeah. It was hilarious. Anyway, so yeah, we had some great visitors along the way. Mm. How, how long ago was the kind of idea of the movie floated? Was it something that was happened before? Was it more? Uh, Gareth and he mentioned it in passing in, in, during season five, saying, do you think there'd be an appetite for the cast? You know, and I said, I'm sure, but you know, you're going to have to try and wrangle everyone into shape. And by, by the time we finished the series, it was certainly you know, an, an idea that uh, was beginning to take shape. And really, I think uh, over the next three years, it's great credit to, to Julian Fellows and, and Liz Trubridge uh, and, and, and to Gareth Neem to get everyone into, in, into place. Um, it was a question of getting the planets to align, and eventually they did. And it the pressure, of course, never relented from, sorry, from the journalists and from the, the, from the fans. They, they, they never, every interview, every conversation about Downton, whether it be in the street or, you know, in a press conference, was always ended uh, with, is it going to be a film? Is it going to be a film? And that never rebated, so that <laughs> kept the pressure up, really, to, for us to get together and do it. Mm. Sorry, I interrupted. I you yeah, remember. You're going to say. <laughs> as good as that. Go back to sleep. <laughs> Has that added more pressure on on you guys and the filmmakers to to deliver something? Because a movie is obviously a, a different beast, but you're obviously it's a continuation of the story. Has that put more pressure on you, or are you are you kind of reveling in? No, it's just lovely. To, I mean, it's just a miracle that we you know we finally got got to this point where it's actually now out there and about to be in in in, in front of an audience and. The test now is whether our, our wonderful, loyal audience will get out of their armchairs and, and actually go to the cinema and buy a ticket. We hope so. I think mm. Julian Fellows is the one that's got nerves of steel because he writes literally every single word and has done for the entire series. And then to come back after three years when there's so much expectation, there's so many people asking about it. So I mean, else. that that would probably shake me to my <laughs> absolute <laughs> bottom of my toes. But, um, you know, after a few tries of the script, he had a kind of idea of what to do and he went for it. Uh, tea, a, a, a crazy amount. I mean, I drink a lot of tea, but you guys, 
that's a lot of a lot of tea. How how <laughs> you must have so many bathroom breaks in between <laughs> in between filming. That must be insane. Are you actually drinking tea? Is it is it always yeah. Yeah. tea? Yeah. Yeah. Our onset uh, catering. It's I mean, Bosch, is it not? Do you hmm? get really up? Re Bosch? What's that? What? I, that it's was red the, tea. I asked for that to start it's with. Nice. Oh, it's nice. Okay. It's very nice. It's refreshing. My next question: Do you have a tea of a choice yes. as it <laughs> range through the Earl Greys well. to the? I prefer builders anyway. Whenever, mm, yeah, whenever, yeah. whenever yeah. brew that comes out. Never drink the stuff. But no, our um, the, the, the the you know the, the um, what do you call it? The, the not on set catering because it sounds like the food we're eating at lunch. It's not the the, the food that's prepared and the and the mm. you know uh, dishes that are prepared for screen screen the time. Department. The props department, I suppose, they're really fantastic. Um, mm. And uh, yeah, the tea is always warm, which is nice. Mm. Mm. It's always good. Uh, circling back to the, the, you had some amazing guest stars and obviously George Clooney, as you say. I mean, if you were to go back and do another movie, if the appetite was there, is there someone that you could cherry pick? you like, if we could get this person. Ooh, that's I'd question. like to uh, think that they would be queuing up to do the movie with <laughs> I us. I have a name written down. I just wanted to see if you guys would, oh, would say oh, it. Because oh, no. oh, okay. there was that's one intriguing. obvious one. I was like, oh, if they could get that person. It An would be obvious pretty. English, one. obviously. Mm. Uh, no, she, she is American. She is American. Oh, I guess, well, uh, so, we know that Laura Linney introduced the show over in the States, and so, okay. so people keep saying, why isn't she in it? Yeah, but oh, we, Susan in, Sarandon. Susan. Uh, who, who are you thinking? Acting Meryl royalty. Meryl Streep. Oh, oh, of course. Yeah. She's Hollywood royalty, right? Yeah, She's right. She's got to be in there. Yeah. Well, I'd be, I'd be yeah. thrilled if New Meryl housemaid. <laughs> we should have fit her in. No, she's trying to take over Mrs. Hughes' job. Oh, yeah. She'd be a threat. Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!